And Tucker, welcome back to the show. I said a few weeks ago when I was doing an analysis that our angels prevent some of the um, the ways that a karmic uh, event can manifest in our lives. Uh, so the, basically they allow in what's best for us or what they yeah. deem to be best for us. And I know you talked about that at one of your um, your Friday lives. Would you care to elaborate? Uh, how is it that our actions cause uh, you know us to attract things into our lives? And what do our angels do to, to help us out from our own ignorance? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I love that you asked that because, because uh, yeah, it's actually, it's a wonderful, as they were describing this, I get the visual. So I'm seeing as they're describing this to me, how they do it. And it's awesome. We know that we are energy. Everything about you is energy that I tend to think of your, the all of the combination of everything that you are, all of the trauma, all of the decisions that you've made, the beliefs that you have, everything like that is, uh, makes up the song of who you are. And you are constantly singing that song out into the world. And then everybody and everything out there that has notes in their song that resonate with notes in your song, uh, they resonate together. They begin to harmonize, right? And so those are the things that you draw towards you. And, uh, and in your energy field, so you're going to be attracting. So everything that's sort of in you is like a blueprint of what you expect your life to be. And it's just then mirrored back to you because it's harmonizing with your song. But as we're going through this, there's no discernment that our energy is not, it's just singing away. It's not saying, well, I'm only going to sing this song in certain octaves. It's like, nope, I'm just letting it fly. So as your energy goes out there, you may have within you an imprint that says, okay, the next stage of, of the thing that's in me, the thing that's coming up for being healed, the thing that's the loudest part of my song right now is that I need to have a uh, something to stir things up. I need to have a switch in my life. I'm stuck. Right. So you're going to be having this, this song coming out and saying, I need a switch in my life. And that could attract a horrible car accident, which does do the trick. It right. It readjusts your trajectory and changes you and sets you on a new path. But that would be a really bad thing. And you could also have the possibility of attracting a wonderful new mentor who comes into your life and, and is a really positive influence and changes your trajectory. So these two things could both be harmonizing with your song. So which one is going to come in? And that's where the angels step in. So they call themselves a magnetic barrier is that they stand in front of and prevent the things that would, would actually, in fact, take you off course that are, that are not as aligned with your highest and best. And that doesn't mean that if you, if you end up having a car accident, that the angels or sleep on the job, <laughs> it just means that, that in this particular instance, the car accident was actually the best pass forward, but they, they are kind of like the goalie out there deciding what gets through and what doesn't. All right. That's really interesting. Um, I, I share in my second book, my uh, ex-wife was doing an affirmation from Louise Hay to heal assist that she had in her shoulder. Yeah, and yeah. she had it for years and she never liked it because she couldn't wear a strapless dress and things like that. It wasn't that big, but she just didn't like it. And um, she was doing this affirmation and I didn't know it. But then I saw this spirit come along and do a healing on the cyst. Now, at the time, we didn't know that's what was going on. But it really set me up for a while thinking like, OK, is it that we change our belief system and then they allow something come in and heal us that could have healed us all the time or what? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then, I, you know, I hit a point of like, well, that doesn't seem very fair. Over time, I've mellowed on this, but uh, it definitely seems to be true. And what you're saying um, kind of backs it up that they will prevent things if it's not the right time. Yes. So uh, they, they, they're they using it all to help you teach yourself to be in alignment, uh, I assume, to, to do what's yeah. in your best interest. And so if you get a hand up every time you do something stupid, you're not going to learn anything. Um, <laughs> That's presumably. exactly right. Well, they I want wouldn't. us to fall, but not so far that we can't get back up again, right? Or, or sometimes right. it does. Sometimes like, you know, like in certain cases, you do have to go through the dark night of the soul. And, and that's part of the journey. But in, in a lot of cases, it's like, nope, this doesn't need to be that hard. Let's pick the easier. These two options coming in, let's pick the one that, that is going to, you know, create the most beneficial movement forward. So, so yeah, and I think you're right that about the system, it's such an interesting question. It's like, okay, were, was, was she, 
blocking the healing before because she had it in her pattern that this just had to be there. Um, but if I think if that was the case, just sort of logicing it out, if it's if it's a situation where your belief is holding a system in place, then all that would take would be the belief to change. And then the cyst would just work because the, if the belief is holding it energetically, belief is gone, a cyst would go. So I think it has to be if there's intervention, it has to be more than just the belief. Right. I think that there may be certain things in your energy that are bound to you by belief, but then there may be other things that are just in your in your physical pattern. Right. In in terms of just your DNA expression that maybe take external healing. That would be how I would interpret it. Um, I'm sure she asked many times for it to be healed and it was healed that that healed it like it completely disappeared. So it became cool. the tiniest blemish. Yeah, it's interesting. But you're just sticking up for the angels because they're mighty and everything. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. And it's very true. <laughs> so so um, you work with angels all the time. That's that's your modality. You channel angels. You had a program uh, last year, I think it ran for 18 months or something, where you brought in these angelic healing frequencies. Yeah. And mm -hmm. a lot of us did them, including me. Um, and you've you've now got another version of that is uh, or it's called uh, peace bathing. Uh, could you explain that? What is it? And how do we get involved in that? Yeah, absolutely. So the idea of peace bathing, it is, it's like a monthly infusion of angelic love. And it is something that's, that's designed by the angels. I, they gave, you know, that they basically described it to me because, you know, I, when I'm in trance, they just speak through me and I dictate and there's the message. So it was created by them. And the idea is that is that in order to really get the most learning out of your life, you have to be ready to show up in your best self, right? That if you're already stretched to your full capacity, we're not as, we don't have the resilience. We don't respond in our best way. So like the idea is that if you can relax that rubber band and keep it where you're in a, in a state where there's more peace in your life, that you're going to accelerate further in your progress. So it's a form of healing, but it's a really gentle form of healing. It's like taking your normal vibration and then just literally infusing it with a vibration of peace. And they choose peace because every healing that I ever do with the angels, they levitate people up into the vibration, the frequency of peace. So this is the place where they start, where they do all of their healing from. Um, and so they bring, they gently bring everybody up there. It is a process of sort of levitating your energy up into this higher vibration. And they hold you there in all of the stress, all the worries, all the stuff that's in your mind, the busy mind, all that just literally drops away and you hold that energy. And it's, it's amazing. And is it cumulative? Yes, absolutely. So that's the, that's the idea is that if you keep doing it every month that you're sort of building up your, it's, I mean, it's think about if you were like the monk on the mountain that had been meditating for 40 years, you could maybe do this on your own and just go up and just be in that Zen state all the time. But here the angels are doing it for you. <laughs> just really kind of nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. Is there a particular goal with each month or is it, uh, let's just see what they bring. Um, there, yeah, I mean, yeah, I know it's, it's always good, but. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, no, it's, the, I mean, the really the goal is, is to take care of the people that are, are, are participating. So the goal is to really, it's, it's think of it as like a spa day for your soul. This is really about just helping you to chill out, <laughs> like helping you to get into a space where you're able to show up as your, as your best self. And it is cumulative that every, you know, the, the more that you're exposed to this energy, it's just a very gradual way of, of infusing you with an energy to raise your vibration. It reminds me a lot of how, you know, how you see in dreams. And I know you helped me with this, that my dreams were showing me that I was a hands-on healer. And uh, I had those early dreams that showed that, that I needed to, I would show my hands climbing a ladder climbing a and I couldn't ladder, understand yeah. it. Remember that? And I was, yeah. I was like, why is it that they're showing me that in order to get where I need to go, I need to use my hands, you know, use hands on healing. And, you know, you were explaining it to me and we came to understand that, that by using the hands on healing, I was, I was channeling masculine, divine masculine energy, which was going to help me to balance my masculine and feminine energy. So it had very little to do with, it wasn't that hands-on healing was my pathway forward. It was that it was the regular infusion of masculine energy was going to help me on my path. And this is very similar. It's a regular infusion of angelic love of this peace vibration. And over time it's cumulative and it does shift and change your own vibration. 
you know, I am, um, I've been sneaking into the show, although it's not sneaking if I say it, but <laughs> there is uh, it, like a, a peeling away of energy on the earth plane. The energy is raising and people who are light workers um, are being encouraged to, to jump on a high band of energy and stay there. And it almost, the way they show it to me is almost like a separation. It's not that other people are going down, but they're refusing to come up. Would wow. this Would this work? help people come up and they come up perfect and so the coming up is to allow you be uh, more objective or less traumatized by things in your life that you don't yes. know are going to happen yet yeah that's exactly right and so this is this is helping you now but there's also like you said there's stuff coming down the pipeline for us there's stuff coming in our future that is that is that can be difficult and this, the whole idea of this, as you said, is to help raise us up into that high, just help us to hold that higher frequency and, and to course, be there in a really gentle way. If yeah. we hold that high frequency, if bad things happen, you're at your best during the bad things. Totally. That's the point. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're totally you know, which, right. Where would you rather be? <laughs> at your worst point when a bad thing happens <laughs> or at your best point when you can spring into action? So yeah. uh, that's the way the angels view everything. Be super, super high and positive. How do people get involved oh. in this? What, when oh, is your next you. one? I know it's already started. Thank you for asking. Yeah, it's uh, it's there. It's ongoing. So you can join in at any time. And the idea is like it is cumulative. So you just want to just it, and it's an easy thing to do to just come once a month and have this experience. And uh, and it's on my website. It's antucker.com and Tucker A N N E Tucker backslash peace dash bathing. You can just go to antucker.com and you'll see it there. And is there a recording if somebody can't attend it live? Is there? Yes. A yeah. And the recording is very powerful. So don't fear. Like if you miss, if you, you know, if you can't make it, the recording absolutely works. So I used to, I'm, I'm very scientific uh, in my approach to everything. Um, and I, I used to uh, laugh at the idea that how can a recording have all of this on it? Like consider the, the magnetic strip that's on the cassette tape. This is my thinking back at the time. Like it's not going to record all that healing information. It only has bandwidth for these frequencies. And so I never realized at the time that the angels do the work live on you while you're listening to the recording. It's like, yes, oh. right. That's exactly right. Which is so cool. So yeah, so the recording just helps to get you into the space, but they are present with you live at the time that it happens, which is totally mind blowing and awesome. <laughs> yeah. We all have angels, so they want you to do it. All right, Ad, thanks again very much. Thank for you. On. So wasn't that great? I always love it when Anne's on the show. Thank you for watching this clip from the Dream Interpretation podcast. If you want to hear the whole show, there's a link directly under this video. Please like and share with your friends, all of your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the podcast at the Dream Interpretation Podcast dot com. That's also where you can submit your dream to the show and have yours featured. You can also download my free dictionary that has thousands of symbols that will help you understand the meaning of your dreams. Thanks for listening.